For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the magnitude of the equivalent resultant force and its location. And they give you the function of this curve and the distributed load is the area under the curve. So let's say this the equivalent force that the distributed load is creating will be F. If you wanted to find the magnitude of F, that will equal to the area under the curve. The area under the curve is given by the integral from 0 to 6, 0 to 6, of the function W, which is the function W is given by W is equal to 4 plus 2x to the 1 half. I just uh, rewrote it. So 4 plus 2x to the 1 half dx. This is equal to 4x plus 2x to the 3 halves over 3 halves from 0 to 6. When you, when you plug in the 0, everything becomes 0. And when you plug in the 6, you get that this is equal to 43.6 pounds. Now you need to find this distance from O right here, which is called S bar, X bar. X bar is given by the integral, again, from 0 to 6 of X times the function W, which is X times 4 plus 2X to the 1 half dx all over the integral which is found, the force which is found, which is x, the integral of 4 plus 2x to the 1 half from 0 to 6 dx. Now the bottom we already found that 43.6, there's no need to calculate it again. So this becomes the integral from 0 to 6, we're going to distribute dx, 4x plus 2x to the 3 halves dx and the bottom we already found before is 43.6 so this we're gonna work with the top again the top becomes 2x squared plus 2x to the 5 halves divided by ha 5 halves all over 43.6 and this is from 0 to 6 when you plug in 0 everything becomes 0 obviously so you just plug in the 6 for the variables and you get that the top is 142.5 and the bottom is 43.6 which would make this whole thing 3.27 meters I mean not meters I'm sorry feet So that's where the force is being applied at 3.27 27 feet. So the magnitude of the resultant force and its location. They're not asking you for the moment. So the magnitude is 43.6. Its location is 3.27 from point O. Final answers. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.